Hello, Joe. Hello, Robert. Well, and there uh, is no mic. There's no mic. There's no, no mic. No. Yeah, so Joe and I, we were two of the original three developers of Alley. The third was Mike, who is not here now. And That's 20 years since it's open sourced. And 20 years since it became open sourced. Okay. Alley was the first open source software that Ericsson released. Definitely some of the highlights um, over the last 20 years is Bluetail. So this was a company that was formed uh, after Alley became open sourced uh, with people from Ericsson, amongst others, Joe and myself. Um, and that was definitely, definitely a big, a big win. Then it's, it's spread. But yeah, it's spread. It's spread quite a lot, actually. The community, the community is important because, well, yes, you get feedback onto what you do, and you get new ideas, you get things like errors. Um, they spread knowledge about using the system and how it's been used, and things like this. What's good about it, and what's bad about it as well, too. Um, you need an active community to get something out gets useful, useful information about it. Yeah, it's kind of important for Erlang because Erlang is rather different to a lot of languages. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's this concurrent language, which most languages aren't concurrent, they're sequential. And so people don't really understand what it is. And they, they join the forums and they, they start participating and they get some understanding of what it is. So, so you have to build a culture as well. It's, uh, yeah. It's building that culture that's the important thing. Yes. That can take time as well to do. It's, it's not always obvious that it will happen. Uh, the Allen community, it has happened and there's quite a lot of activity on it and quite a lot of the major users are part of the active part of the community. They ask questions like, how can I persuade my boss to use Erlang? Yes. And that's not a technical question and that's, that's the sort of answer you can get from the community and by, by yes. socialising. So as much as, as much as the technical forums where we talk about technical stuff, you know, what, what we do outside those sessions is equally important because we're building social relationships there. One of the problems if you're trying to sell the language in, 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 into your company, um, so many people, when well, we get questions, that like someone comes and asks us how to do it, that you need an enthusiast, at least one enthusiast inside the company to do it, otherwise it won't work. And the issue is how, how, do we do, how can they describe our language, the benefits of our language in such a way comparing it to other languages? What, what it's good at, and also what it's not good at, so they make, don't get, make a bad mistake. Um, we can help them do that. We can give references to, to other companies that use it, for example. That, that, that's one thing we definitely can do. So what was really impressive were the WhatsApp people. Yeah. Because they, they didn't go on any courses or anything. They just sort of sat away in a, in a little room somewhere doing WhatsApp, a dozen of them created yes, yes, WhatsApp yes. the server. Fantastic. Yeah, and have a system with over a billion users, yeah, right? that's cool. <laughs> which is quite fantastic. And it works. It and works. It, it, it's yeah. a very impressive system. Mm -hmm.